Okay, today I have a truck I'm going to be doing quite a few videos on, um, so it gives me an opportunity to go over a few things. This is a 2008 6.4. One of the questions we get is the um, the oil. Whenever you go to change it or you check it, you realize that the oil is actually get, it's growing. So people, you know, start asking us, "How can I be getting more oil?" What it is actually is fuel contamination. The fuel is entering the oil, and that's caused. 95% of them, or maybe even as high as 99% of them, are caused from the, uh, it's just the regen process that causes it. It's sometimes you could have a leaking fuel injector or a line that does happen, but the majority of them is just during the regen process. The 6.4, it was uh, one of the things that the uh, federal emissions put up on all the manufacturers to clean them up, and all the vehicles do it. doesn't matter. Here we have an Audi beside it that will do it, and we have the... Uh, uh, the, the Ford one here that will Chevy Dodge they all have different things to meet emission standards the one of the ways the Ford does it is the same way a self-cleaning oven works we have the uh, your exhaust filter but what I'm going to do because I to me visual is better than trying to actually explain it if I make it if I can visualize it and help you out here to learn it it helps out so I'm just, this is the air filter but I'm just going to use it as a, a DPF or the diesel particulate filter on your exhaust, you have the same thing. You have a built-in, of course, it's being in the metal housing and all that stuff. You have a filter on your exhaust that catches all the particulates, all the soot and stuff, the same way this air filter catches all your dirt and debris. Your exhaust, as it flows through, it's leaving the particles as it's getting trapped in there, too. It's, this is changeable, and it's inexpensive, so you know, Ford just has it like everybody else. You just replace the cartridge. But on the diesel exhaust filter, also because it can happen... Um, I see it usually depending on driving habits, uh, the type of fuel and everything, maybe every 100 miles or so that are going to the regen process. So the uh, again, going back to your exhaust filter, your exhaust is all flowing through here and it becomes partially restricted. In front of this, as your exhaust is flowing through, you have a uh, exhaust back pressure sensor. And when it reaches the threshold, it says, hey, I'm getting too much restriction in here from the buildup inside the filter. It's, it, it, it wants to enter the regen process and the way it does the regen process is it overfuels the engine all the excess fuel will cause the exhaust to start to burn really hot and burn off all the uh, the particulate matters that's trapped inside here it turns it into ash so it's able to pass through the fine passages and go out your tailpipe so that that's the way it works now let's just say you, your exhaust filter is starting to get plugged up and restricted and you have to go into the regen process. A few things has to happen. One, the engine has to be over 170 degrees. So it's important that your thermostat is working properly and that your engine is up to operating temperature. And also you have to be above 35 miles per hour with the new recalls being done. It requires the uh, vehicle to be traveling over 35 miles an hour. Then it can enter the regen process. So now let's say you go into the, um, it, it reaches the, the threshold it gets the restriction, it turns the computer, tells the computer, hey, start the regen process, everything's good. Okay, if, you, if you're going along and you do a partial uh, regen, say you enter you know, above 35 miles an hour with the engine all warmed up, and it cleans it, again, just to draw a visual here, this is the threshold. So you clean it, and it's only for five minutes. Um, another thing I might, may want to mention here is that I've had them take any, the average is probably about 10 minutes of a cleaning, I've had them take a half hour or so going down the highway, depending on how plugged up it is, um, what type of fuel, you know, the load, all that stuff's all going to affect it, of course. But uh, the average cleaning is only about 10 minutes going down the highway, um, at least in our area. I live in the desert southwest. So anyhow, let's just it, uh, say you're going down the road and you're only you're going in town and you stop by to stop by. So you clean it and it part, it cleans the exhaust filter down where you have just enough so you're under the threshold to where it's not triggering the, um, the parameters to say that it needs a cleaning. So you drive it, but it only takes another 10 miles or maybe 50 miles to get it above again to where it needs the cleaning. So, and if, you, and if you're only doing partial, little partial cleanings all the time, it, the, your filter's getting open, it'll not enter the regen, you drive it again, maybe just a few miles. Um, and then it enters it, so your fuel economy is going way downhill. I've seen them seven, nine miles per gallon, and it's because they keep on entering the, the, the regen process to where it's just 
they're doing the partial cleaning and it's always just in there. That contamin the excessive fuel contaminates your um, engine oil and it also ruins your fuel economy to where if you get it and you do a complete clean and now your exhaust is completely open, now you have the whole time frame, whether it be 100 miles, 100 miles plus, again, depending on your driving habits the, uh, and the fuel, it, it, it's, you, you can start seeing your fuel economy coming up. So I guess what I want to stress here is when it's in the regen process and it's possible, try to do a complete regen and drive it until it's completely clean or you know, try to keep it above 35 miles an hour with it all warmed up for a good, uh, as well as long as you can. If you can, drive down the highway. If not, just keep it in mind why your truck's getting the poor fuel economy, why your oil seems to be rising, and that also causes you to do more frequent oil changes, say every 5,000 miles. Uh, we have one customer that sits there and sleeps in his vehicle and keeps it running to keep warm, and he'll, he'll have to change his oil every 2,000 miles because of contamination. So um, again, driving habits are going to affect the frequency of the regen process. And hopefully I helped to make that, make that a little bit clearer for you. Thank you.